if you're always thinking about it, then you should probably do it then is something that I actually talked about recently with my coworker and I would consider him a pretty good friend, you know. Uh you know, sometimes you talk with your coworker and you just have like long chats, you know, you have those moments. But uh we just talked about, you know, like our goals, our dreams and our aspirations for life. And it's like when we went into it deeper, we were thinking about it, you know. A lot of us don't really do what we want to do. And, like, we only think about it. Like, you know, you'll be like, oh, you know, I really want to start, like, a successful YouTube channel. But you just never do it. You just only talk about it. And, like, you only you only do the talking process, the talking stage, if, you know, if you will. And that's all it gets to. A lot of people only do that part because none of the people who talk about it want to actually do it. You just do it because you like the idea of it. Or you talk about it because you like the idea of it. And obviously that only gets you so far, but I guess there's a point in life when you'll just talk about it so much to the point where you're like, you know what? I'm actually fed up. Like I want to do something about it. And that's where this comes in. You know, you guys just have to do it. Like literally just get started in whatever you want to do. If you're constantly thinking about that one thing, now is the time to do it. There's no any other time this is the best time to do it in the now you know you'll make excuses like oh i can't do it because my leg hurts or like oh i can't do it because my job is having me work like a dog or like oh i don't have enough money for it you know then how about you rest your leg okay you make time after work instead of partying and i don't know like just make more money use the time and money or effort to make more money and then put that into the channel you know there's a lot of ways to combat your excuses and you you are going to be a living excuse forever if you keep doing that literally just start whatever it is once again being a youtuber very simple create a youtube channel record your first video make a hundred of them and improve every single video along the way literally what mr b said you know and then once you hit a thousand subscribers then start talking you know start getting serious about that you just have to start because, I mean, for me personally, I have a problem starting things. And that may be the same for you guys. So if you just start, maybe along the way you'll figure out what you really want to do. Maybe you'll see if it's really cut out for you. Or maybe you'll realize it's not. You won't know if you don't try. So, like, how are you to say, like, oh, it'll never work. Or like, oh, I want to do it. And then just never do it. You know, like, there's just no point in talking if you're going to do that. You have to put your words into actions and that is the only way you're going to be able to be have su sort of success in life you know you got to have that tiny push okay and once again you got to push yourself to do it okay i'm struggling with this but at least i'm posting pretty consistently just because i want to stay true to my goal and my dream and that's to be a pretty big youtuber someday and make a decent amount of money from it so i will Try whatever I could do right now to set myself for success in the future. That That's all I got to do, you know? And it all just ties down to if you're thinking about it, just do it. Like, literally, you should do it. It's your calling, you know? It's literally your calling. Another thing that I really like and I always see is voice acting. I actually love the concept and the idea and the hobby of being a voice actor, you know, working at home, you know, voicing in different shows and like animes and like, you know, movies, like it's so cool. And it always pops up on my feed. I love, you know, obviously going to conventions and getting my, you know, Funko Pop signed by voice actors because I genuinely love them from their shows. You know, they are very talented people and I look up to them, but it always comes back to like, that idea, you know, always thinking about it, YouTube and voice acting. And so I guess in my head, that would be my calling, you know, and maybe to be fair, maybe some of you guys don't have that, you know, let's just put it that way. For an example, you don't have something you have in mind, then explore, like literally go out, talk to people, get, get some sort of, you know, inspiration jogging and just try it. Literally just try a bunch of things, see if you're good at it. 
And then if you constantly think about it afterwards, that means it's your calling. That means it's a hobby that you developed and you want to continue progressing to get some sort of success out of it. Literally, if you do that, you find your calling and you just stick to your strengths, you will be unstoppable. You will literally, you, you'll be unrecognizable by the time you are like, you know, you've, you've grown to such a high length, to a high level, you know? So literally stay consistent. And if you are thinking about doing something, just keep doing it or, or get started, obviously. And you will find some sort of success out of it. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.